Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there, folks. Welcome to something a little different. Well, not that different as it happens, because it's uh, almost identical to <laughs> what I'm playing already, which is Wasteland 2, but only identical insofar as it's a turn-based action RPG, which isn't a bad thing. And I've, I turned this game on with the pure intent of showing you the first hour or so of it, because I am just at the beginnings of Wasteland 2, and I don't want to play two of these at once, so I was going to play this immediately after Wasteland 2. However, I did get this two days early, so I thought why not record the first hour or so, let you guys see what it's all about, what it's like, how it plays on the PS4. And it can't be that dissimilar for the Xbox One, so it will give everyone an idea of how it plays on PC, uh, how it plays on the new gen, sorry. And I have to say, I did record this for an hour and then turned around and realised my PC had frozen up <laughs> about 20 minutes in. So it's not quite the fresh experience I'd hoped to share with you because my machine, when it froze up, didn't capture any of what I'd recorded. So we're trying this all over again. So it'll mean it's a bit easier for me to show you it. And I won't be fumbling around quite as I was in the first playthrough. So let's crack into it then and see what we get. That music though, I love the music and I love the sound effects in this game as well as looking gorgeous. The attention to detail is fantastic. You can play multiplayer in this game, you can play with a friend and you can do it either online or you can do it in the same room. How amazing is that? I don't get that very often. So the big bonus is that with things like Diablo you've got to be on the screen at the same time. With this game you can actually go off and do completely separate things and then meet back up. So it's a really, really good concept, and it's got really good uh, reviews and had loads of awards this game. So it's got a lot, a lot of praise for this multiplayer ability, along with everything else being very good in it as well. We're going to go with single player because I'm all on my own. Uh, this is basically easy, normal, hard, hardcore. That's what that is. And I'm going to stick with easy for now as I did with Wasteland 2, because the turn-based ones can be quite tricky, and also for the pure joy of showing it off to everybody, it makes life a bit easier and nicer for everybody. And the next section we get is character development, which I'll, I'll speed through, but I'll let you see each component. can tell so much from a game just by the attention of, to detail for the music and the sound effects and all the stuff that goes outside of the visuals, I think. If it gets as much love there as it does anywhere else, you, you're usually in for a treat. Okay, so here are then you start off with two characters. Each time I've loaded this up, it's been slightly different characters on each side. It says player one, player two. You you start this game off as a as a twosome, as it were. So your party grows as the game goes on, like Wasteland Two does. You end up carrying more people in the party, or with different abilities, and and can offer different things to fighting and puzzle solving. Uh, we have Scarlet on the left, who is it seems to have uh, what is she a fighter? No, I thought for a minute there it kept what I had last time. It hasn't done because I went bow last time as it happens. Right, so you can change the name. And appearance is pretty much every aspect you would want. You can change the voices. I see a trap near. Perhaps I can detonate that explosive from a distance. What can I cook up today? I may have a blade or two that could use a honing. <laughs> um, we also have the hair. Uh, no, sorry, the skin. Colours as you'd expect. There's more than that. I just went with the... Uh, didn't go too far from where we were. Uh, the head can change. Go for that Xena type look, will we? With the headband on. You can change the hair. We'll stick with the standard for now. There's loads of different options there. And the hair colour, obviously. As you can do in these things. Whee! <laughs> there's a popular thing. People will be scrolling through that one for hours, even though there's only three. <laughs> and you can change the gender. And here for you girls. They are. <laughs> Never let it be said. I don't compass for everybody. And that's it. 
for customer character, customer character, can't speak, customer characterization for the features anyway. And if we go back to here, we get three starting skills of which you can tweak and change, but they have to be within the person you've chosen's realms as it were. So the skills and talents kind of link up. So you can see there we can't pick that one because it requires novice man at arms talent or ability. So you can pick and choose which three you want from a set amount that will be in the list of things that your character's allowed. Uh, as it is, I'm not going to stick with that. Uh, right down at the bottom here, you can change. So the fighter get those three initially, but you can tweak them. And you can be Inquisitor, Knight, <laughs> a sword. <laughs> it's twice the size that she is. The Ranger with a little bow. Quite possibly the shortest bow I've ever seen. But hey ho. Length isn't everything, I don't suppose. <laughs> uh, rogue. Yeah, little daggers there, look, on the sides. And Shadow Blade. And Wayfarer with the big crossbow. That's the one I tried last time. And you've got the Witch and the Wizard. Presumably there is a, a difference in powers that they get initially. And Battle Mage, which is a mix between probably Wizards and Swords. And Cleric, Sword and Shield. Enchanter, I'm not sure what that... I'm not sure what the difference between them and Wizards are, but... And there you are. Inquisitor. Yeah, we're back to the night again. So I think we will give the... Will we give a Wizard or a Witcher go? Uh, no, because he's a... What's he? He's a Battle Mage. Maybe we can change that as well. So we'll make her a... Yeah, we'll keep her as a bow lady, will we? Shadow Blade. Yeah, we'll keep her. We'll have her as a fighter, I think. Why not, eh? And the little bit at the top there, you can change your... Oh, well maybe you can't. There was a... I thought there was a place you could change your... Oh, there you go. You can change the portrait to something a bit more like your character. So that in the little menu you can see which character you've picked out. <clears throat> and... It was like that in Wasteland 2 as well. You don't... You can't get a little snapshot of the character you create, which I would have thought is quite some, something quite simple they could have put in. A little photo of the face and then put that down in the in the menu instead. I don't understand why that's difficult, but anyway, it's a tiny little thing. Uh, it's the same in Wasteland 2 as well. It's um, it's a little frustration. At least in this, you can pick something very similar to your character. Wasteland, it's sort of a generic picture. And if we go over to... Uh, I'm trying to recall. Oh, there you go. Let's change him to... Actually, I think we probably could try him as a wizard just to see what it's like. Let's try his appearance out and see if we can change his... Uh, you don't seem to be able to change the bodies, do you? It seems to be... It's a very butch wizard, isn't he? <laughs> that's one thing I have noticed. You can't, you can't seem to change the bodies on them. So I don't know what that's about. It's a bit strange. I haven't seen that before. Or you could go two women, of course. I think that's a battle mage, actually, as opposed to a wizard, isn't it? Tell you what, we'll go two ladies and we will do Better to detonate that mine safely than trip over Ah, Forge. The one place Ah better to detonate that mine safely than trip over it myself. We'll go with The Witch. Yeah, I like that. 
She's got the move to bring out a big spider by the looks of it. We'll have a bit of that. Uh, I don't think we need him to be called Roderick, do we? <laughs> uh, what should we call it? Um, ra, ra. Girl's name beginning with... Uh, Well, okay, I played Witcher recently, so let's <laughs> let's go with that. What on earth is going on, Steve? Okay, here we go. That'll do. Okay, so we've got two female characters to go with. Very different ability sets. In the days of old. Although I don't think I changed her picture, but never mind. <laughs> as long as she's not got the guy's head. Great power called Source. But a terrible darkness invaded the land, and Source was forever tainted. The sorcerers who once healed now only destroy. And madness has overtaken them. A few brave source hunters are all that stand between Rivalon and the dark power that threatens to destroy it. Wherever source appears, hunters follow. Dun dun dun. Beautiful art style to the beginning of this game. I really liked it. I won't talk over the intro. I'll let you see the lay of the land. And shine, Master Source Hunters. The cam wants you up on deck. Hear them calls? Means we're close to shore. I don't ever you go in there, Master Source Hunters. City's full of undead, hungry enough for blood. But you're supposed to investigate that murder, ain't you? They say it's Source that did the counselor in. Source in a city like Sicil, nowhere safe anymore. Here they are, Captain Sir. God's blessings on you, hunters. You'll be happy to hear we've reached Sicil. But there's trouble offshore. <coughs> to sail in carefully. Here, have a look. Those are orc ships, and they're blocking our passage. We'll get you as close to the city as we can, and drop you off at the beach. Be wary now. Orcs are on the attack. Undead have closed every route out, and there's a sorcerer on the loose. If we are to get justice for the counselor, you'll have to keep your wits about you. May the luck of the gods be with you. And the luck of the Irish, too. Sorry about the sneeze in the middle of the scene there. <laughs> oh, that theme tune, though. Gorgeous. As I say, beautiful art style to this. Absolutely love it. The similarities between this and Wasteland 2 are very high. And I, I love the fact that they've really thought about the battle systems. They've really thought about how they work. Because these were on PC first. But they have put a lot of thought and effort into how to make everything nice and easy for the controllers. And play smoothly on the consoles. A lot of PC games just get a cheap port and they're a bit clumsy and ugly on the consoles, but these have been really thought through. Really like them. It's absolutely gorgeous as well. From the area that I played through. And you've got this little feature here where you can search the radius around you. And it's a bit cooler than just finding stuff as well. It does... If we do this, it gives you a list of everything that's in reaching distance. You can just pick it all up. So you don't have to go picking up every individual little... In fact, if we go to the wooden crate, she'll just run to it by selecting it. And you can do that for each item, so you don't have to run around aimlessly all over the place. Absolutely brilliant. I love that feature. So I At least the orcs make a bit of noise when they attack. It's dark dealing sorcerers that will strike with neither warning nor mercy. So it just makes looting so much easier. 
especially if you're looking for sort of bland items that are just well not bland but you know items that aren't anything overly wow they're just sort of healing items or you know you don't have to go running around all over the shop you're just looking in every corner you can just do this just a lot of thought gone into it you know it's it was the same with wasteland in wasteland you can just uh it picks up every item after battles for you by selecting one of the creatures and you can give things to people on pickup in Wasteland 2, you know, it's like dis distribute, it just goes, puts all the items with the people most relevant to them. Is that a corpse? What's it doing here alone? What? Did you expect it to have an entourage? So here you go, you can pick stuff up and, well, you can pick it up straight away and read it from the menu, or uh, from your inventory, or you can read it straight from the place where you're picking it up. Rejoice, for the statues have granted my wish. Their whimsical nature, however, must not be taken lightly. So before I soar through the skies like an eagle, I shall attempt a mere hop from the cliffs down at the beach. This should be nothing but a small feat for the man that can fly. If this experiment is successful, the sun shall be my next target. Sadly, splat was the end result of all of that. <laughs> Okay, and there's a little scroll here, rain scroll as it happens, we'll get to use that in a little bit. These exclamation marks are slightly confusing to me, I've still not quite figured out how to get them away from my characters' heads, they tend to just disappear after a while. I thought it was to read those, but it doesn't seem to be. Can you believe this? The man jumped off a cliff at the behest of some statues of all things. All right. Ah, I see. Okay, okay, okay. This is making sense now. So I have to speak to my other character. I like it. Okay. Have a conversation between each other. That's awesome. Well, great deeds require the occasional leap of faith. I myself might have done the same. Pure madness. How could someone do be so utterly naive? Pure madness. How could someone be so utterly naive? Agreed, call me sceptical, but a little proof goes a long way for a rational mind. Revelon is no stranger to the supernatural. He might well have flown into the sunset and looked down as cynic laughing. Agreed. Call me sceptical, but a little proof goes a long way for the rational mind. Indeed it does. Well, there you go then. Oh, we got a little plus one on Pragmate there, whatever that is. Okay, let's go. I think we've done them already, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, done. And uh, there's also the quick save feature, which is kicking around the Wasteland 2 as well. Awesome. No messing about. RPGs, you've got to save all the time, so you want that. Fight! How did they find us? Take the stone to the temple. These whelps will be easy to crush. As you say. We think not. Ready yourself. Arise, fair dead. Seize upon our enemies. Yeah, rising the dead, are we? Hmm? Hmm? I know your type, missus. Here we go. Okay, so we've got a turn-based system, just like Wasteland 2, if you've been watching me play that. However, you don't get the grid on the floor in this one. It just calculates it and moves you to a spot on the floor, which makes it slightly more realistic, which I like. You can select the character you're going to attack. So you can move, and you, this uses AP, it uses uh, attack points. So you have a certain amount to spend, and once you've spent them, that's your turn done. So in this case, we're going to go for a straight attack on this guy. Nice. Okay, we don't have enough points to attack. So we need to end the turn, the circle. Time for the mage. Bring on the power from the sky. Let's try out the spider, shall we? You hit triangle, you get your moves down here at the bottom. Cast the spell. Ooh, hello. 
Put it on the big lad at the back, eh? Target blocked. Give me a break. There we go. That'll do. Summon spider. Ooh. Okay. Why is it not doing anything? <laughs> I don't know what to do with it now that I've got it down here. So we'll end the turn there. Oh, hello. The spider gets a shot now. Sweet. Okay. And the spider does that. Ooh. Didn't like that, did he? He gone. Nice. Like it. <laughs> awesome. Boom. That's how it's done, people. Awesome. The said something about escaping with a stone. Stolen from this dungeon, I imagine. Can we get inside? Those thieves were more than petty criminals. Their leader gave life to the dead. What stone could they have been so keen on taking? Um, our orders say to report to our contacts in Cecile. Something like that. Not to waste precious time outside the city walls. Okay. So there's options here. We can't well turn away from such an odious show of source. Let's investigate the tomb and see what answers it might reveal. Seems reasonable. We can't well turn away from such an odious show of source. Let's investigate the tomb and see what answers it might reveal. Indeed, for all we know, these dark dwellers of Blar may be involved with Councillor Jake's murder. Yeah, well. Indeed. For all we know, these dark dealing thieves may be involved with Councillor Jake's murder. Awesome. I love this little conversation facility. I missed this first time round. I was a bit confused with that. Ah. Oh. Thank you, Spider, for all your help. Okay, before we go in, just have a quick save. Open sesame. Thank you. Or just let us in, one or the other. Right. Now then, chests. God damn you. Okay. Pick up. Ah, okay. <laughs> right. So we can just take the chest with us, can we, and pick it later? Right, hang on. That's a good idea, isn't it? The size of that, cut, that spider's web in there. You can pan the camera down, by the way, so you can go closer in, see what's going on. It does limit your view a bit, so panning up gives you the full view, which is great. So if we look at our inventory now. Yeah, there we go, we've got the chest. Sweet. To open a, lo a locked door or chest, you can find the key. Learn lock picking or use brute force. All right. Okay. Seems reasonable. It's nice. It's a great. I've, I've never seen that before. Where you can pick the chest up and take it with you. Is there a I wonder though? There, there must be a presumably a limit on how much you can carry. But it seems to be based. Oh yeah, no, it is. It's weight. There you go. Twenty-seven of one hundred and fifty up at the top there. So. Mushroom. Is it magic? Right. Okay, so what we can do here is just highlight the object and hit move. There you go. And we're through. There's an awful lot of stuff in this game that lets us uh, Careful. There's a mine in the middle manipulate the elements around us. Someone must have an interest in protecting whatever's kept here. So I think we want to move over to Yen here. Go into battle mode, which is right on the D-pad. Oh, actually, hang on a minute. Let's see what we can do here. 
Whoa, 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 where are you going? Come back here. I think, in fact, we can come out of battle mode for a second. Can we do that? Nice. And there we go. It should go out by itself. Nice work. So you can use these, you can see there how you use the things around you to get through levels. I mean, there's a real puzzle element to this game, as well as being the RPG that it is. So this is what I love about Wasteland as well. There's a lot of thinking to be done in it. All right. Not quite sure what that's for. You click the left stick, and then you can. I wonder if you can tell. All oh, right. You can open things from a distance, then, can you? It's almost like a little mouse, isn't it? Oh, I see. You can. Eat. Oh. They've actually left the ability to play it like you do on PC in the game. So you can pan around the room and say, oh, you know what, go and check out what's in this pile of bones here. There you go. They're coming down. Oh, that's brilliant. I love that. There you go. Fantastic. I might very well be using that. That That is not a feature I've seen in Wasteland 2. That's, uh, I'll need to check, that actually, but I'm getting the distinct impression that the Wasteland 2 and this are connected studio-wise somehow. Or developer-wise. Or maybe they just take a lot of uh, ideas from each other. And... Oh, mushrooms. Lots of mushrooms here. Let's read this. Tend the graves in the antechamber before moving into the inner rooms. To proceed, stand very close to the impressed door and press the button that appears on its right hand side. Seems reasonable. I'll take that with us just in case. Another chest. Another locked chest as it happens. Yeah, um, can't pick that one up for some reason. So it must be only certain types of chests you can pick up then. Yeah, well maybe you can only pick up a few at a time. Either way, we can't have it. Uh, it's possible the rogue may have the lockpick ability. That's usually the way in such games, isn't it? I'm uh, anxiously keep looking over at my PC to check it's not frozen on me again. <laughs> hey, that rat stopping me running up the stairs. Well, what's this I've spotted? It's a button on a wall. Ah, oh, very nice, very nice. Through we go. Might need to blow this one. Oh. Can't really. Well, that'll do. Lovely. But I don't imagine our weapons would survive such use for long. Okay, wait a minute. I think. I know, we're okay. That was me that panned the camera in there by mistake. Scroll. Okay, so here we uh, we get a little chance to see what scrolls are all about. So our mage doesn't seem to have watery spells as it is at the minute. So what we can do is go into the inventory and dig out a rain scroll. Now you can... I'll tell you what else we can do actually. If we go to the big menu at the bottom with triangle and hit square here, pick out item and pick out the scroll. Awesome. So when we come up to here, we can hit it again, and we can use the scroll. 
and you can use the elements to get past areas. So we've got fire on the floor here, which is uh, hindering our way through. Bring down the water from the sky. I feel like I've just had a long bath in a cold lake. Yes, yeah, well, that's what it feels like when it rains. Right. Awesome. So the first time through, it did actually give a little tutorial on that. It's remembering that I've been through this cave, so... I might add that I haven't been all the way through it. This is where I realised that my machine had frozen up. <laughs> and I had to start this playthrough all over again. It's a bit of a shame, really, because it was quite nice to be chatting away while it was all fresh to me and you also. I usually try and play a game for a little while before doing a Let's Play so that I don't look like a Muppet when I'm playing it, <laughs> mainly. Careful! I've spotted a Yes, you have, you have, you have, yes. Uh, what do we do here then? What we can do... All oh, right, not enough strength to pick them up. It's a bit annoying. We can with that one though, can't we? Thank you. How far can we do it? Oh, ah, brilliant. All the way up to here. Oh, we can't throw that far. No, we can't. <laughs> Thought it was a bit easy. Okay, we'll do it to... How far can we go? There we go. And again. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. What? How did that not go off? Hmm. <laughs> Something tells me I'm going to get blown up here. I thought that... I thought that's what we did. I thought that's how it worked. No, it's not having it, is it? Let's see. Well, it's locked anyway as it happens. And we can't pick it up, so we'll have to leave it. It did actually seem to stop the mine going off, so I guess it was one way around it, wasn't it? I think we've been through them, haven't we? I think I'm forgetting. Yeah, there we go. I wasn't quite sure. On the top of that one, there seems to be, like, a shape. But I didn't know if it was of any relevance as to whether it was one with something in it or not. Sit down on the bench. Lovely. <laughs> Crosses the legs and everything. It's a little attention to detail. It's great. Right, where are we off to here? I think we looked around this area at the top, did we? Yeah, yeah, that's where we've come from. Right, around here. Methinks. Our door. Let us through. There are two ways to open this door. One way is to find a key, the other is to find a lever. Okay, as it happens, we found a key last time. Which I'm forgetting, but anyway. I do know, as it happens, that there's a lever here. So you could either open with the lever from there. Now as it happens, let me just try and remember. I'm sure the key was dead easy to find as it happens. I think it was just... Ah, uh... oh, there was a little tutorial here about... Yeah, that's what it was. So there is as it happens. This is another good thing to show off because it's another elemental... Now, yeah, I'll 
witch doesn't seem to have fire abilities either. She seems to have other such nature type abilities. So, again, we can go to inventory, go to there, and no, hang on, did it the wrong way around, didn't I? Go to there, hit square, pick out the item. There you go. So if we go onto it now, we can cast it, and fire takes out poison. There you go. Awesome. And we now have fire. I'm not sure that's going to go out on its own, in which case we now need to use... Bring down the water from the sky. There you go. So that's how the elements all work together. You don't always have to put the fire out. I think some of them do go out on their own. And there's the key. So we can use the lever or we can use the key. So there's, it looks like there's several ways into, you know, areas and several ways to solve puzzles. And it'll all depend on who you've got on your team as well, I suppose, and what scrolls you've got and... So we'll use the key this time. Voila! Okay, so there's another cool bit coming up now, which we'll have a look at in a sec. And we've got more poison type things going on here. So what we have here is gas coming out of the floor. I've spotted something interesting. There you go. And their perceptions have allowed them to spot these vents in the floor. Now if we move the barrel on top of the vent, it blocks the smoke from coming through. What's this? Easy. I found something. You can uh, yeah, hang on. If we hit split, she'll move on her own and leave her there. So it's very, very cool if you try to do tricky things like this and you don't want them to accidentally run into it. So, can hit square and move. Oop. Too steep. Oh, that's the stairs, I think. There we go. Voila. And we're off. There we go. Alright, there's a wand in there. That might, the witch might use that. Ones are a special type of weapon. In addition to their normal damage type, they also have a special skill attached. To use the wand, to use the wand's skill, assign the wand to your hotbar. All right. You can also look for the wand's skill in the items list of your tab. With the skill panel. Right. That's interesting. I thought we were going to put it on the actual which but it looks like yeah it puts it on the ability bar there you go so we now have the ability to cast a fire spell that's brilliant so rather than uh, have to change the item all the time to get the power the power can be assigned to the the bar Right, okay. I like it. And if we do... Does she come back now? Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to get the... <laughs> the split to... Oh, I see. There we go, it brings them back together again. Awesome. That's pretty cool. It looks like you can have four people and you can separate one off from the other three or whatever. I think I hear voices downstairs. The last thing we need is to surprise another angry summoner. Here we go, we're going into sneak mode. <laughs> Just turned myself into a rock. Check this out. I sense enemies nearby. Okay, so what we've... Oh, you've made a mess of an 
So what we can do here, go to the inventory. Now these guys are standing in oil as it happens. So we're going to turf this into there. And it's going to be a very short fight. There they go. <laughs> there you go. So between sneak and uh, fire, uh, fire scroll, we've just taken out the enemy without much of a fight, which is awesome. However, what we don't have is a... I don't think we have a thingy... Oh no, there you go. It's gone out by itself. Sweet. I didn't think we had a rain scroll there to get ourselves through. And... Oh, this game's so good. I'm going to feel so bad leaving it behind to go back to Wasteland 2, but I want to play Wasteland as well because it's so good. I love this style of RPG. I love it. They just feel so much more interesting than... Oh, no, watch. Easy. the hell did that just do? It's just stood on a trap. <laughs> Now I think if you activate those two things at once, something may or may not happen. There's a door there. Now I think I know what we need to do here. But we're going to do it oh, easy. I'm going to quick save it. Now I think if we split... She can go on here, and hey, 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 hey! Who's a clever lad then? Oh God damn you! <laughs> uh, okay, so we need something to put on there, don't we? I was almost a clever boy. Okay, so we need to pick something up and put it onto those traps, I think. I don't think I can reach anything from here over there. Let's see what we've got. I don't can we pick those things up? Oh yeah, we can. Easy. Nice. We have a winner, people. We can use the vases to this vase here. We're off. We are genius. That's what we are. I'm not sure. That must be water, surely, than oil on the floor. Absolutely gorgeous this game. It's gorgeous. Well, I hope you're loving it as much as I am because it's absolutely beautiful to sit and play. Great style, great music, great atmosphere, great voice acting, great everything. Hold L2 and use the left stick to highlight a party member. Pre yeah, okay, it's split. Oh, that's the split. That's what I've been using anyway. <laughs> Okay, so we're switching between party members. That's how it's going. Okay, so if we move back to the other one, she should better get through her door now. There you go. And that's it. Put them back together again. There we go. Hey, we're clever because we figured it out before they told us. <laughs> this is actually, uh, this is further than I've been, by the way. We are now officially further. This is all new to me. Oh, blimey. Hi. We're just, nothing to see here. We're just visiting. A 
living rat dares disturb the slumber of the dead. Sorry. A thieving fool insults the sanctity of the grave. Yeah. The bloodstone defiler, where is it? Uh, I don't know. We're not ours, we've only just got here, mate. Uh, who are you, Bloodstone? I know not what of you mean. I met a trio of strange cult-like figures before the entrance of this tomb. They seem to have precious stone in their possession. I'll take my leave. <laughs> I'll take my leave. A good day to you, sir. <laughs> Let's tell them of the strange trio. Strange indeed. Robed indeed. Your tricks will not save you from retribution. Oh, here we go. Deceiver. Eh? The bloodstone. Deliver it now and I may deign to end you quickly. What? So we give you the stone and you end us quickly and we don't give you the stone and you end us slowly. Right. Not much of an option. Who are you? In life, I toil to care for these holy grounds. In death, I protect them from profaners and poachers. The legacy of Cyseal is mine to preserve. Her traitors are mine to destroy. Hmm. Run if you like, Defiler. Whichever way you take leads you to the grave. All right. Fight. <laughs> oh, good. Right. Let's see what we're made of then. If too many enemies are concentrated in a small space, you can press up on the D-pad to get a top-down view. All right. Sweet. Change combat highlights in the game options to increase combat clarity. I like it. Okay. Oh, that's brilliant. Alright, so we're going to go for... I'm still trying to spot where it tells me how many points I've got to spend in the first place. There's two numbers come up there. That's, that's meters and AP. But where does it actually say how many attack points I've got? Uh, I must be being really dim here. It must be there and I'm not seeing it. Okay, so we'll all try. If we can highlight someone, it means that we can shoot them. So... Oh, nice. That's awesome. She's brilliant. I don't know what that is. It's like a mini wand, isn't it? Uh, should we summon the spider or what else have we got? Summon Undead Warrior Scroll. Launch a magical missile from your staff that deals 10 to 20 earth damage. Sweet. Bestow a damage boost upon an ally. Let's try the magical missile, shall we? Boom. Didn't like that, did he? Uh, is that all we've got? Not enough AP, you need to end the turn. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, Scarlet's turn. He's used all his he's used all his AP just to get here, and we're going to kill him before he hurts us. Come on. Death never dies, fool. Death in a thousand forms rules all. What? Uh, how does that work, then? <laughs> Still alive. Okay, he's dead again. Nice work. Okay. I mean, we will remember I'm playing it on easy, but... Uh... Oh, big sword. Nice. Lovely. Might as well pick it all up, eh? In fact, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do a bit of that and then pick it all up. Seems reasonable. 
Keep forgetting about that. It's been that long since, well, since ever that I've seen something that useful. I think we'll have a quick save as well. Well, I really hope you've enjoyed that as much as I have because this is absolutely awesome. I cannot, I mean, this game, I got it for 31, 32 pounds, something like that. It was just under 32 pounds. Wasteland 2 I got for twenty six ninety nine or something like that. Really, I mean, for those two games, that's two games for the price of one big AAA game that you'd never have as much joy out of as these two. I mean, these there's hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours in these games. Can't tell you enough how you should go out and buy both of these games, Wasteland 2 and Divinity Original Sin, if you remotely like RPGs the way I do. Look at the beauty in it, it's absolutely gorgeous. And here we are, outside the other side of the cave. I mean, there's an awful lot more for us to... And you get the autosave feature kicking in again. You can hear voices, look at fish... Fish catching net in the water there, look. Brilliant. All right, we've actually just, yeah, I know where we are, actually. If we run up that way, we'll end up back where we started. There is a map. There you go. So we started way down here. We ran through all of this. Had the first fight here. Entered the cave, went all the way around the cave, and we've come out the other side here. But there seems to be multiple paths to take. We've been round. That looks like all the underground cave stuff we've just done. Alright, you can pan out as well. Sweet. Looks like quite a big area. Absolutely fantastic. Well, I hope that's given you a little taster of what the Let's Play is going to be like. And if you don't want to wait for that, which I wouldn't, I'd go and buy the game. <laughs> Although I want you to come and watch me play the Let's Play, obviously, but uh, if you go and buy it and play it, we can share our experiences. But it has been, ladies and gentlemen, uh, honour and a privilege to serve with you on this little taster of Divinity Original Sin. I will see you in Wasteland 2. I've already recorded another four episodes of that, so they'll be going up this week and I'll be recording more through the week to go up after that. I'm going to crack on with that so that I can get to this. Looking forward to playing both of them. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Take it easy, bye!